uh, using my laser level temperature around about 2 245 right there right here I'm running about 2 oh, 216 215 up here at the top of the radiator I'm running 186 Yeah, just died. Cool overflow. Temperature's about 160. Yeah, radiator down there is 180. Up here is 170. 192. Temperature inside the truck. Oh, it is telling me it's pretty much pegged right here. It's telling me it's 284. But then right here on the sensor for the Phytech is about 201. My sensor for my Phytech is sitting back here, and I was reading about 202, well, 201, it's 203 right there. But then right here, we're reading 230, 218, right on this temperature sender, 242. Then this is the sensor on the gauge right here. And that guy is, oh, yeah, that's about right. Kind of having some issues with overheating. Um, guess we'll work through. Right, I purchased this Evans high performance coolant and the engine prep. I'm going to try this to prevent my overheating. Um, seems like I'm boiling over. But I uh, got the engine prep running a big block. They said about four gallons. My system holds about six and a half gallons of of antifreeze, so I'm hoping four will kind of do it. I I didn't want to spend the money to get the additional two, um, so we'll try that out. I've got the refractometer right here. I'm going to test it after after I uh, get all the water out of the coolant system. Um, this is the Evans High Performance engine coolant you know basically this is a brand new engine I've probably only got about 100 miles on it and I've got just the standard green uh, antifreeze in it 50 to 1 mix um, I'm gonna suck all that out uh, I'm, I'm gonna use this uh, five gallon sh wet and dry shop vac well I guess it's bigger than five but um, I've got a little hose hooked onto it kinda rigged up where I can stick down in the radiator um, just just a piece of heater hose so I'm gonna basically use that suck the coolant out of the radiator uh, and then pull this heater or the top radiator hose off I'm already up to temperature so we'll just uh, go ahead and get that pulled off and I'll start sucking the system out. And uh, then I'm going to basically try to get it all out and we'll show you that.
Got all the coolant sucked out. Made it pretty simple. I didn't have to drain the peacock down here. There's no water in the radiator now. No coolant whatsoever. Even sucked out the coolant out of the engine. And stored it all inside the wet and dry vac. Since it's brand new antifreeze, I'm going to probably filter it and use it on uh, another vehicle. A little less horsepower, a little less heat. So I'm um, going to go ahead and start adding the Evans coolant. Or, excuse me, the Evans prep. All right, got all the hoses hooked back up. Everything's drained out. All my coolants in this barrel here. We'll go ahead and start adding the Evans prep. Got the prep right here. We'll grab a little funnel and go ahead and come back over here and we'll start adding. Well that funnel's kind of tiny. That kind of came with this coolant application. Let me go grab one that'll, that'll work. Alright, adding the prep fluid in. Grab this other funnel. We'll get all four gallons put in. We'll come back. All right, got the prep in. We're gonna go ahead and get it started. Run it for probably about 15 minutes. Get the thermostat open back up until we're up to temperature. Then uh, let it cool a little bit, and uh, we'll drain it. in the prep waiting for it to warm up still it's only about 120 degrees right now all right we've been running this for about 15 minutes basically to about 175 here, 190 on the manifold. So thermostat's opened up. We'll go check the gauge inside. According to gauge, it's a little over 200. 20. But right here on this coolant gauge on the back of the manifold is about 132. I think I'm going to run it just a little bit longer just to make sure we're good. the prep been running it for close to 15 minutes that 172 on the top of the thermostat housing 195 at the manifold temperatures about up to where it needs to be thermostats open make sure you got the heater on in here so you're circulating um, definitely up to temperature in here. This gauge is reading a little wrong, but over here on this gauge, we're, we're about 141 on the back of the manifold. This is right by the exhaust manifold, so I think it's kind of giving some false readings because it's sitting right there. But that sensor is on the back of the manifold. I think 
we're uh, about where we need to be. I'm gonna turn the engine off, let this guy cool down a little bit, and I'll drain it. And I'll, uh, we'll repeat the process of sucking the prep fluid out, just like I did with the antifreeze, and uh, we'll continue. Just ran the prep fluid through, got it vacuumed out. I'm gonna start putting in the Evans high performance uh, waterless engine coolant. Got all the water out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding. And then we'll get it started. I'll add the, the six gallons into the system and we'll see where we're at. Well, I've been running the Evans coolant for about two months now. I wanted to kind of test it out and I have not had any overheating problems, whatever. I just got done driving this thing for 45 minutes. Um, it is not getting hot at all in all the points where I was having issues. Um, I definitely would recommend this. It has been an awesome waterless coolant. I mean, my temperatures are super low. Get on this temperature sender. I mean, that's, that's about 145 degrees. And like I said, I just got done driving 45 minutes down the freeway. I cannot get this thing hot. It is like night and day difference. I mean, that temperature center's right next to the exhaust manifold. I'm probably getting a little bit of a, a 218 there. The cool thing is the gauge in here it says we're right around 185, which that's what the thermostat it says. Um, so this is definitely an awesome product and I highly recommend it and uh, it's pretty cool.